boys and gits, and welcome to Dreads 1000 subscriber, finally there, 1000 subscriber celebratory episode of Dread Wow Gaming, of course. Um, of course, I'm really happy we've finally reached a thousand, uh, which is meaning loads of good things for me, it means I can give you guys notifications and we can start this build along and all that sort of stuff, but it also means that the Dread Captain competition, which is just up here over my head, that competition has finally come to a close. So now I can finally share all the fantastic, brilliant, awe-inspiring um, efforts that have gone into creating some fantastic pieces of art, some amazing pieces. I really am so excited to be showing you guys. So without further ado, let's roll straight into it and check out the Dread Captain competition Entries for 2019. Check these out. Our first rather questionable entry in which the Dread Captain has been decapitated comes from Ben Oakes. It's a very, very vividly colourful picture. I really, really do like this. Very cool. Don't stop doing art, Ben. Number two is from Laser Shark. I really like the polishing grots that are cleaning his chopper there. And the gun for a leg. That's very freebootery. Keep it up, Laser Shark. Now we have an entry from Gary Hauser, who's made this fantastic 3D rendering of a Dread Captain. Really like this. Very dark. Really like the grot on his shoulder as well. He's got very, very evil looking eyes. Terrifying. Now we have an entry from Bad Moon Bill, who is on Instagram. So if you like what you see, go and check him out on Instagram. I really like the gun that he's got here. It's an actual physical Grotzooka with a Grot sticking out the end, firing a Grot. Very cool. Wah! Number five is from Guy Farrow, who is Sexy Orcs on Instagram. Now this is a very unusual orc as it is so if you like this style of orcs go and check out sex orcs because he does a calendar so get your 2020 calendar while you can number six is from krovlud krovlud is from russia and he's put these few images together in order to construct this image now he hasn't painted the or you know colored it in but he has colored the head which i think is a fantastic effort Number seven is from Pablo Rodriguez Valera, who has done this fantastic. I mean, look at the details in this. Fantastic drawing. Really like the, um, the bike vehicle in the background and particularly like the boss pole, the dread boss pole with a little funny squig on it. Very cool. Number eight. Unfortunately, I don't know who provided me with this piece. It probably came to me very early on when I was um, able to receive messages on my Dread Captain Facebook account. So please let me know if this is your entry in the comments. And the same goes for this entry, number nine. This obviously also came to me very early on. Very cool, nonetheless. Number 10 is from Tom Moskalik, who has created this Dread Captain with complete with very cool looking dreadlocks that have got like cool little beads down them. Standing on his own jet bike as such, with complete with buzz saws on the uh, wings there. Deadly. Number 11 is from Ian Hodgson. This fantastic stomper has got chains for dreads. Look at the rust paint effects as well. Fantastic, I really do like this. That's some serious effort has gone into building that. Like the use of Imperial bits and bobs, salvage bits and that massive harpoon. Unbelievable. Top marks. Number 12 is from Squig Boss Mad Knobs, or the Meme Meister. I created the funny meme of me and the guys. He's done two sketches here. I'll allow him to have two entries. Why not? He deserves it. Well done, Squig Boss. Next up, we have an entry from Jim Whitehead, who's created this wonderful watercolour. I actually think this one kind of looks a bit like me. I really kind of like the... Um, the hoops that he's got hanging from the hat there the one with the checker pattern love that now we have Morgan Gork's entry and some of you might have seen his YouTube channel and following this build 
And he basically spent 352 hours creating this sculpture. It is unbelievable. I really highly urge you to go and check out his channel because this is a phenomenal effort. Look at those beakies running away. Oh, it's unreal. And the parrot there is basically a full-size Dakar jet. I mean, that's some serious effort, guys. Well done. Number 15 is none other than 6 plus Stevo. Age 6 plus 30 something. Good effort there, Stevo. Loving the uh, attention to detail, and uh, you've uh, missed a, an A in W. Oh, what's wrong with you, lad? The gun's really cool. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, number 16 Mech Squat Tracks. Actually, built me this Grop tank. It's got optional turret. It's got dreadlocks on the boss pole, so it's kind of a, a grot tank that is also a dread captain. We'll allow it, it's amazing. And our only kids entry come from Mateusz Kennedy, who will definitely get a prize for these fantastic Artie the Defiler pictures. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Um, so, how are we going to deal with this? Well. I'm gonna basically ask each of my subscribers. Now we've definitely reached a thousand subscribers. There's potentially a thousand votes, right? A thousand votes. So what I want you guys to do is in the comments of this video. So if you've entered, share this video around with your other friends that are also subscribers. If you wanna get some votes or whatever, post this around. Make sure people know that your entry is involved in this competition, but they have to be subscribed to vote and I have to be able to publicly see that they're a subscriber. So any of you subscribers that don't have your settings allowing me to see that you're a subscriber, I won't be able to class your vote. But basically what I want you to do is each one of you subscribers out there, I want you to cast a vote on your favorite um, of the Dread Captain entries. But I want you to rank your first favorite, your second favorite, and your third favorite, okay? And as you see, I've given them all numbers to make it nice and easy for you, so just put, Number one, say it's number three. Number two, say it's number one. You know, number three, say it's number five. You know, either way, right? So you, you lay them out and uh, I will see how many we've got for each placement and we'll, we'll try and work it out fairly so that the, the one that got the most first placements is obviously gonna win and then we'll try and work it to the second and the third and basically we'll try and make it as fair as we possibly can. There is a slight delay at the moment with regard to the prizes, only in the, um, for the boom wagon from Ramshackle. Uh, Curtis is actually away on holiday, and he hasn't had a holiday for years, so let's let him have it, shall we? He'll be back very soon, and he'll be able to send that out to the second place winner. And also the first place prize from the green one, the green one stomper, is still a work in progress. There's been some illness at the green, unfortunately, with him himself and his poor wife, so... Let's obviously give our thoughts and prayers to them and hope that they're going to be okay. Um, but the prize he has, get, he has assured me is on its way. It's just a couple of weeks delayed. But it should be around about the time that we draw the prize or we've actually counted up all the votes and stuff like that. As for the votes, I think I should let the votes run... Ooh. I will announce a time. I think sort of mid... November is a good time to sort of run it till give everyone that is a subscriber a chance to actually see the video and vote because um, I do want there to be as many votes as possible so we get a good spread of people's opinions you know what I mean so I'll announce the date that we're going to draw or I'm going to count up all of the votes um, later on anyway enough of that the most important thing is the fantastic effort these guys have made and us all are appreciating it. I certainly do. I think they're amazing and I'm so happy I can now use them in the Dread in the Dread Wargaming channel and show, you know, have these artworks on display and talk about them and all the rest. So yeah, I'm over the moon. Reached that thousand. Good stuff coming. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you again soon.